Hey all, this is part 10. So we're going to use the substring, no sorry, use the two string method. Uh, this is the case where we have a value of some type, hopefully other than a string, and we want it to become a string. Now, there's a couple reasons why we might do this. One would be to add it to an existing string. Another case would be, um, let's just go with the first case. So anyway, there's a couple other ways to do this. You could think about the json.stringify method. Um, that's a good thing to research, especially what json is. Uh, but with that, let's go ahead and have a quick look at an example, and then one sort of odd caveat. So here's some code. Num is equal to 17. We'll call string num equal to num dot to string, which is again this one. And then we'll console.log our string num and our type of string num. Same thing with bool. We'll set equal to true. String bool is going to be bool dot to string, and then we're going to console.log both string bool and the type of string bool. Now the reason that we're not just logging string num and string bool to the console is because they're going to look pretty similar uh, once we output them to the console, but we want to remind ourselves that the type of these values has been changed to string. Uh, which is to say that we haven't changed the type of num, but we have changed a instance of that value represented by string num. Uh, that's kind of a convoluted way to say it. But essentially, we're just proving that the new variable that we created by calling num to string is actually um, a string type. So if we run this, we should get our uh, string num and string bool and the types of both. And in case you're curious, let's talk about the type of type of uh, num. As you can see, number. So it doesn't change the uh, the variable upon which we call to string. Just something to keep in mind. Uh, here's a couple of weird things. So 17.2String. This is going to give us an error. And you might think, why would this give us an error uh, when line 3 and line 5 and 6 don't give us an error? And I'll prove that by commenting this out, and then we'll run it again. Num.2String. Oh, well, there you go, because we haven't console logged anything. So, But it's not going to cause an error, right? So here's we're going to give an unsatisfactory explanation for this, and by that I mean I'm going to tell you something that is not going to make a ton of sense, but it is something you do want to keep in mind. So what's essentially happening in both of these is we're allowing ourselves to wrap the number in a number object. Now what that exactly means is not super important, but you do just want to keep in mind that in instances like of having a string, we can say like, uh, you know, the string dot length and get that result back. It's not going to work for a number with two string. Why? Not really sure. Not really sure that it matters, but it is part of what's going on here. Uh, so, with that oddly cryptic explanation that doesn't really help, let's just keep in mind that toString is a method that will allow us to make a string out of not a string. So, we are going to complete a function that takes in one parameter and returns a string version of that parameter. Your function should create a string version variable and assign it to a call of the toString method on the input parameter and return the string version variable. So to say this is the same idea of you know, passing the input parameter that we described in a previous problem. Both are examples, excuse me, below are examples of the code running, assuming that you will have completed the described function, apply to string. So pretty, pretty uh, uh, simple you know, combination of what we've been doing so far. A couple test cases, stub of a function. So let's follow form, paste our stub, paste our test cases, create a string version variable, assign it to a string version of the input param, so variable string version is equal to param dot to string. Then we'll return string version. Should log 9374, it does. Type is string, should log false, type should be a string. Excellent. That seems like we are in good shape, or we should say whatever shape we're going to be in based on our little synonyms chart. And if you don't know what that is, I say you're in good shape at the end of almost every video, so we're trying to switch that up, and I've got a list of synonyms for good and a list of synonyms for shape, which is mildly amusing. Uh, so we are in healthy shadow. <laughs> okay, so getting kind of odd here. Uh, circumscription. We might have to come up with some different synonyms for shape because these are starting to get a little weird. But anyway, 
Hope you are enjoying these videos. Hope they're working for you. And we'll see you in the next one.